Ever wondered about the intricate dance of muscles that makes our every movement possible? How about the fascinating interplay between the deltoid and the pectoralis major muscles? Our journey begins with the deltoid muscle. This large triangular muscle sits atop the shoulder, its name derived from the Greek letter delta due to its unique shape. It attaches at the clavicle and the scapula, extending down to encompass the humerus. This muscle is a workhorse primarily responsible for arm rotation and preventing dislocation of the shoulder joint during heavy lifting. As we delve deeper into the anatomy, we uncover the three distinct parts of the deltoid muscle, the anterior, lateral and posterior. Each part has its own role, with the anterior helping in arm flexion, the lateral in arm abduction and the posterior in arm extension. Quite the team, wouldn't you agree? Moving on, we explore the broad, fan-shaped pectoralis major muscle. This muscle spans the upper chest, originating from the clavicle sternum and the cartilage of the first to sixth ribs, and inserts into the humerus. This muscle is the star of the show when it comes to activities like pushing and throwing. Beneath the pectoralis major sits the smaller pectoralis minor. This muscle extends from the third to fifth ribs and attaches to the coracoid process of the scapula, playing a crucial role in the movement of the scapula. Now let's navigate the fascinating deltopectoral triangle. Here we find the cephalic vein. As we move the pectoralis major aside, the pectoralis minor comes into view with the clavipectoral fascia removed. Beneath the pectoralis major, we discover the neurovascular bundle home to the lateral pectoral nerve and the thoracoacromial artery and vein. Isn't it fascinating how the medial and lateral pectoral nerves, despite their names, are named for their origin from the lateral and medial cords of the brachial plexus, not their anatomic location? Peeling back the pectoralis, minor reveals the axillary sheath, a crucial structure housing the axillary vessels and the brachial plexus. It's a delicate dance of anatomy, where one wrong move could lead to serious complications. To summarize, we've journeyed through the anatomy of the deltoid and pectoralis major muscles, exploring their unique structures and functions. We've navigated the deltopectoral triangle, discovered the intricacies of the neurovascular bundle, and unveiled the axillary sheath. These muscles, with their distinct yet interconnected roles, are testament to the marvel of human anatomy, a symphony of movement and strength. Understanding the intricacies of these muscles not only provides insight into our own physical capabilities, but also enhances the medical profession's ability to diagnose, treat, and rehabilitate muscle-related injuries and conditions. Now go forth and share this newfound knowledge. And remember, every muscle, every fiber, every cell plays its part in the grand scheme of the human body.